Hello, Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. Haven't I heard that somewhere? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That was funny. That was funny. Uh, um, up north country, it was doing a spoof. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty cool. We loved it. Yeah, it was funny. It was good. Caught me off guard, too. I started yeah. just laughing. I, yeah. Oh, when I heard it, I didn't even good. realize I was hearing it. <laughs> anyway, this morning, we're going to do an update on the fires. We're actually going to take you on a tour for what we can see, you know, as the little people down here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go up to, uh, I can see that helicopter. I don't know if you can see it in the, that's what we've been listening to for days. You can see that helicopter, the bucket, bucket. right there. Yeah, quite a few uh, them, and then the plane's still dropping. This ridge right here, it's just that's the one that we've been watching the flames licking. Licking the top. Yep. And uh, we're at as of this morning, we're over 27,000 acres. So we're gonna take you up. It was actually human started. I don't know if I've said that before, yeah. and it started with the guy got a flat tire up in the high desert and he did everything he could trying mm -hmm. to get the fire yeah, out, called the authorities, everything like yeah. that. And it spread like wildfire. Yeah, <laughs> like that. So, man, and it's... Yeah. And we came, when we came in from um, the hospital, it was dark and yeah. we haven't been out since. So yeah, so you're gonna be going with us. Yeah, we haven't too. went and looked at the burn, so we're gonna mm -hmm. actually go down, um, you know, cause we're right here at the tree line, so we're gonna go down, cause it, like I said, it started down there mm -hmm. in the high desert part, mm -hmm. and then it spread, and last night when we were checking the maps and everything, it's, um, right, I mean, I don't even know how many acres away from the, our highest fish fence, so, yeah. it's bad, man. So let's take you along for a little, see. that's the first time I've seen the sun for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, <laughs> You can kind of see right here the color change, that whole ridge, everything right there burnt. Yep, and this is, we're going to go from here, we're going over to where it started, and it actually, excuse me, kept going south from here. That's I don't know how much right you can catch that. Really, even with our naked eye, we can see the, mm -hmm. the tree line up there. Can you see that mm -hmm. on the camera? Kind of. But uh, we're just on the side of the highway here. Um, this is one of our places we go uh, a lot and uh, um, they got the road it's like I said the forest is completely closed down uh, you can see there but the, road the black right there too yep, right to the tower and then we'll show you the back side of that tower too so we'll go up here see the fire retardant spread out there, but I can with the eye. I think it two patches up there. There's two patches that look pretty good up there. Yeah. Is that retardant? Or yeah, that's fire retardant. Okay. And you can see right here, this little ridge right here is black also. Yeah, show the mountain beyond. I mean, that's yeah. right back in there. It's like a one, two, three ridges. And that is uh, the beginning of our mountain. I did. Got right yep. to that time. We're almost at the starting point. Yeah. <laughs> the smoke, man, is uh, what you want. Yeah. The smoke is just crazy, crazy. Thick uh, to breathe when we had any uh, breathing problems. Over here with the flat tire, we tried 
tried to put it out right here. Right here with a flat tire. Tried to put it out and called for help because he couldn't get it. Couldn't, couldn't get, get it out. out and it just started sweeping up here. And he gave it everything he got, called for help, and it just took off. And, and the containment right now is 5%. So, 27,000 acres, and basically, uh, they've saved some silent so burn. I can't remember what the count on how many homes and cabins were yeah. burned. Do you remember? No. Quite a few. Uh, one was, uh, they just had finished a beautiful, very nice cabin. Um, just all this stuff. But from back in here, the last trip that we took all all you guys on with us, and we came down was getting getting firewood. Was actually back in that canyon right back there. That was the last time we were up in the mountains. What was that? Four days ago? Oh, not four. Maybe four days prior to us leaving. Yeah, I don't know. Man, Town. our days are so mixed up. Yeah, I guess because four days ago I was down having a yeah, grandbaby. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and Tevin's home. Just so everybody knows, uh, Tevin got home. The kids got home last night. We got to sleep in our own bed. That's why I'm full of energy. This yeah, morning. really. Got to sleep in my own bed. I got to get up and have coffee and sit in my sit in my chair. But um, so the where we just started this is actually probably what three miles probably mm -hmm. two miles to where it started what it you know and it went up from there and it went south and it went north and now i don't know if you can see my finger on there but now north and that's our mountain right there you can see the kind of see the trees and stuff through the haze very eerie um but that's our mountain and over that and down at the base is where the homestead is um and then it continues on and then we're gonna go to the um the main base the firefighting base go by and kind of film it but from in town um everything for, or in the town of council up here um everything's over the you know on our mountain over the foothill when i say foothill i ain't talking little i mean in their mountains but to us they're the foothills the bare foothills before you get to the, mm -hmm. the tree line so this so we're gonna go up here and uh show that but man that's just so sad and eerie and, but up in here i know that they lost at least that one big cabin. fancy cabin mm -hmm. that just then just built it and then another guy up here just bought that property remember yeah. tim was yeah. telling us okay so there's so one of the foothills that's black yeah i don't know how much and like all i said i wish that we had black. that a better camera to be able to mm -hmm. zoom in too all of those are black that one's black so got it some brown and greens right in here and if you've never been in a, you know, we grew up forest fire, you know, forest fires are Part always happening. But um, if uh, you've never been to, uh, you know, if you've never uh, been around a fire, around forest fires, it's crazy because they create their own weather, man. Yeah. You get those fire tornadoes, man. You get mm. these little, oh, it's just yeah. crazy. And I can't even describe the... Well, for one, the <gasps> yeah. but I can't even describe just the the, the feel, Sad, the sadness, and, and the sadness. Too. Everything yep. just makes our hearts, man. All right, so we'll go up here, film a little bit more. So we go, like I said, man, it's really hard. I wish that we had a camera we could zoom in more so you could get more of what we see because this mm -hmm. camera kind of sets it back. It's a lot closer than it looks. Yeah, or we're closer to it than it looks. You can hear the helicopter. Yeah. I saw when I was pulling in, but oh, where is that now? And seeing it's following up all these goalies yeah. and canyons. That's where it's at now, and it's in the. It's actually hit the most treacherous. Uh, I don't speed. know if you can really see it, but right there is a house. Oh, that one! Yeah, black, one. right behind it. It's down. <laughs> So we're coming back, now we're coming into Council, Idaho. And we can stop in here and see our friend. There is, I 
know she ain't got a bunch of customers. She's got a bunch of customers at the bottomless pit that we're not going to going to stop. Just let her make money. But, and there's people here. Yeah. Okay. Right up here is the rodeo grounds. See all the everything everywhere. So that's the base, and the fire is actually on that hillside behind them. It's on the other side of that and creeping up, creeping north. Well, right, so uh, you guys got to go go check on that baby there. Yep. Right, so we uh, so uh, there's a little tour of it. That's really pretty much all you can see from here without being able to go up in there. And there's a crew group. Is that Kevin or is that that other guy? I think it's the other guy. <laughs> Never know who's driving one of them four service trucks. Um, so uh, we're going to head. Head over to see the grandbaby. Huh? Go, yeah, we're going to go by, stop by and see the grandbaby since we're in here. Since Katie hasn't answered her phone this morning, Meemaw's getting all crazy. So. There's a little tour, and I'll see what else we can film later. So, good Lord willing, and the cricks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya. <laughs>